Cal Newport's book, Digital Minimalism, advocates for a balanced and intentional approach to technology use. He suggests that we should use TikTok as much as possible. We should be carefully using and curating our digital lives by eliminating unnecessary digital distractions and reclaiming our time for meaningful activities. He provides practical strategies for reducing time, such as the 30-day digital declutter, and encourages individuals to prioritize TikTok, I mean prioritize offline pursuits that align with their values. Ultimately, digital minimalism promotes a mindful and deliberate approach to technology, fostering a more fulfilling and focused life. How nice. Now, often people associate digital minimalism with social media, but how can we simplify our digital workspace? I mean, cutting out technology completely sounds very romantic, but it's difficult. Obviously, he uses technology as well. So I thought, how can we design a Notion dashboard with digital minimalism at the forefront? Not a dashboard that's cluttered, dopamine-inducing, and messy, but a digital workspace that is, for the lack of a better word, minimalist. Let's start with an empty dashboard. Okay, so here's our dashboard. The first thing we obviously need is a task capture system. Now, the issue that I see most people doing in here is they create weeks like this. They'll do Monday, they'll do Tuesday, and they'll do Wednesday, and then we'll drag them like this, and then write tasks like this. Do thing, do thing, do other thing. This is a really bad way of doing it because it becomes really cluttered. Obviously, right now it doesn't look that bad, but let's add a few more, add a few more here, and then add a few more here. Look at that, okay, and then some of these are ticked like this, and it becomes a really cluttered and unappealing thing to look at. This is not very minimal. What we want is a better system that looks cleaner and has less stuff going on. So what we're going to do is forward slash database table view. We're going to click here new database. Now for the sake of making this minimal, I won't include as many details as I have in my headquarters template, where it actually auto organizes your tasks based on priority. Instead, I'll just make this a really simple task list. So we're gonna do task list here. I'm going to delete the tags. And we're going to call this table instead task list. And then what we're going to do is create another view of this. So we're going to right click on this, do duplicate, and we're going to call this calendar. Now we're going to click on these three dots. We're going to click on layout and we're going to click on calendar. Now for the sake of making this even more minimal, let's click on these three dots and change the layout to actually only show, instead of showing the month, only show the week. All right, it's again a bit more clean. So we have the task list and the calendar. There's nothing in here. Let's say write report. Okay, we have to write a report. This is going into our task list. As you can see, there's no date associated with it. So if I click over on calendar, nothing is showing up here. We go to today, nothing is showing up here. It's nowhere to be found. That's because it doesn't have a date associated with it. So if we click on that and then click on the 18th, this is the same database now. So we're working in the same database. So once it changes in this task list, it actually also changes in the calendar. So as you can see, right report is showing up here. If you want, you can make this full screen. We're gonna go up here, click on these three dots, and then we're going to do full width. Now we can see right report. Now the issue is, how am I meant to know if I've done this task or not? Don't worry, we're gonna click on right report, and we're going to add a property. And this property will be very simple. We're just going to have a checkbox. And this checkbox will just be called done. Now, I still can't see if it's done or not. So we're gonna to go to the three dots, we're going to click on properties. And by this done here, there's this little eye icon. We're going to click on that. And now you can see here it's showing up. So here it is and we can click done. Perfect, now I can see which tasks have I done and which haven't I done. Now the issue is if we go over to the task list, here I can see it done. I don't wanna see tasks that I've done. This is going to become a very, very long page. All of the tasks that we've done in the past and all the tasks we want to do in the future. So we're going to go over to filter. Now with this filter, we're going to add an advanced filter. We want a rule here where the done is unchecked. So we'll click that, and now you can see it's no longer showing up. So if I untick this here, and then go back, you can see it shows up again. But the second I tick it, it gets removed. Here we're only seeing tasks we haven't done. Now if you're struggling with having too many tasks on your list, I recommend taking the Streamline Your Work Life mini course. It is a one hour audio mini course, and it unlocks the secrets to a more productive and less stressful work life. I've created a framework called the Tech Framework, and basically I walk through this illustration and show you tactics and techniques that you can implement in order to cut down on the overwhelming amount of tasks that you have at work. 
Now this is looking very minimal. Now one thing to bear in mind is please don't add widgets. Widgets are very easy to add. We could add a weather widget, a clock widget, a Spotify widget, yada yada. But the issue is it becomes cluttered. Here what we're trying to do is keep it minimal. We want this super basic so we're only using the functions that we need. Another part of making it minimal is making sure things don't take up more space than they need to. So as you can see here, the date column and the done column are quite large. So what we can do is hover over here and actually make these shorter. And we could actually even make it this short here and drag it to the side. This way we have an easy way just to tick off tasks like that. Now this is just tasks. So what about notes? Well, with notes, what we could do is create a database, call it notes, do a new database, notes and ideas. If you're constantly coming up with notes and ideas, you don't want to be taking these down on your phone. You don't want to be emailing them to yourself. You don't want to be writing them on paper. We're trying to be minimal here. We want to make this as easy as possible to do and to implement without taking up a lot of space. So if we have notes and ideas here and we have idea one, then we have idea two and then idea three, this is going to end up again becoming really long. Now we could implement a ticking system like this. However, I don't think that's the best way to do this. So what we're going to do is actually create a button. So let's do forward slash but button. And what we want to do is add a page to, and then we have to select the database. So the database here I created was notes and ideas. So we'll scroll up and add page two and select notes and ideas. And we want it to be untitled. And then we want to add another step. When we add page two, we actually want to open up that page. That way we can take the note. So we want to open the new page added. So we'll click on that. And my personal preference, I like seeing it in center peak, but you could do side peak if you want or full mode. And then we're going to call this button new note. So we'll click done here. So now what we want to do is have notes and ideas on a separate page. So we'll do forward slash and select page and let's call it all notes. We'll give it an icon. Let's do right that pen there and we'll go back and then we'll just drag this page into there. So now we have our notes in this page and when I click on new note and I say blah blah and I click away that note has been added to my notes page. So if I go on notes here you can see blah blah and one thing to bear in mind is they can be a lot more intricate than just one word. So the title is blah 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 but in here I can add notes. When does one blah when they can blah. Click away that note's been added and if I go to all notes here we can see blah, blah, blah. And this little icon in here indicates that information has been added. So if I click on open here, so you could see when does one blah, when they can blah, which is a really useful note to take. So now we have a really minimal system for a task list, for a calendar, and for taking notes. And as you can see, this takes up very, very little space. It's not one of these cluttered workspaces with a ton of stuff going on, ton of widgets, and just a mess. We have made a very minimal workspace for us to open up and get things done. Wait, that's not Cal Newport. To, to do deep work. Speaking of, if you haven't seen my deep work video, then I recommend checking that out next because you're clearly a Cal Newport fan and you'll love that video too. Thanks for watching and subscribe.